Hey, today I'm going to make a fish kanji with mahi-mahi um, that just frozen mahi-mahi from Costco. I put, I took out two fillets defrosted. Um, also with uh, napa cabbage, I just took out five uh, leaves worth and I'm going to cut them into smaller pieces. And then what I have here is um, a pre-boil pot of half a pot of water in like a medium pot. Let me turn this down. And then I put um, some leftover white rice in the pot. Um, you can also do it with you know just raw rice as well. But I since since I had leftover rice, you know it's gonna cook faster. I had about like about this much, which I think it's about like two two and a half cups worth. Um, so basically I just you know boil water on high and then once that is boiled just put the rice in and let it reboil and then turn down the cover and then turn down the flame to um, slow I mean to the smallest flame okay so while the can the rice boils in the pot I'm going to cut the um, napa cabbage so I'm just going to remove the uh, top part and then just oh, no. slice up huh? as finely as possible. Okay, now I'm going to prepare the fish. Um, I'm just going to cut them into thin slices because the fish will actually go in after the um, kanji is done. Otherwise, the fish will be overcooked. So you just do it kind of how you would with meat, like chicken or beef. So just into thin slices. Now I chose mahi mahi because I think it's like there's enough flavor. Um, you can you know choose other kinds of fish as long as it's got like a good flavor and it doesn't break apart. Um, I think cod would be a good choice. Um, so then I'm just gonna put it in a bowl. Now I'm also gonna cut a little bit of ginger. Just some into little thin strips. And that's gonna go with the fish as well. So the marinade, it's just gonna be kind of how you would with um, meat. So I'm gonna put a little bit of salt. Of white pepper a little bit of sesame oil just a little drizzle of it a little bit of soy sauce and you just mix it up and last but not least, cornstarch. Just a little spoonful. Then you mix it up. And then you just let it sit there to marinate until the um, the kanji is done. Okay. okay. So as you can see, the kanji is pretty much done. So I'm gonna just scoop it up and let you see the consistency. So this is a consistency you're looking for, just like really fluffy. Okay, so and you can see that 
not much water left but it's still um you know it's a little, little bit runny but not like and it's not too thick and this is like you know not too thin not too runny this is a really good consistency because once you put the vegetables and the fish in it's gonna thicken the whole veg uh, kanji so now I'm going to add the napa okay that's gonna take a little bit longer to cook um, keep the flame on about medium high you don't want to be too high because um, it over it will spill over okay okay and at this time you can also add a little bit of salt to the kanji to flavor it so I put about like a little tiny spoonful like a teaspoon a little bit more because it's really not much flavor um, and you can also add a little bit of white pepper to it I really like the flavor of white pepper in kanji and also a little bit of sesame oil okay just a little drizzle not too much and you just mix it up so you now I can see it's already kind of thickening And then at this point, we're just going to um, cover up the kanji again and just let the vegetables, the napa, soften. And then after that's done, then we can add the fish at the end. Okay, so the napa is softened. You can just pick up like the biggest piece and see if it's transparent. And it is, um, and you can tell that the um, texture of the kanji has thickened. So now we're going to add the fish. Then you just stir it in. I keep the flame. Uh, on medium again and just kind of stir the fish a little bit so the flavor will be um, even throughout the kanji and just let it sit there for a little bit until the fish is cooked through you can turn the flame a little bit higher at this point Look at the consistency. It's really nice, isn't it? So it shouldn't take more than like five, six minutes for the fish to cook through. And you can just check occasionally. Now if the fish starts to break apart, then you're done. You don't want to overcook the fish. So then after the fish is done, then your whole kanji is done. I hope you guys like this um, fish kanji and it's really, you know, simple and nutritious and it doesn't require a lot of ingredients. Um, yeah, so and like I said before, you can try different kinds of fish. Um, so whatever works, but make sure the texture is firm enough so it doesn't break apart. So now as you can see, this is already done. Yep, I can see the fish fillets breaking apart and if you pick one up you see that the inside is already white so it's all done <laughs>